in-person meetings are what people recovering from drug or alcohol addictions need. But with the spread of the coronavirus, that's not possible at this time. Spokane's Recovery Cafe building had to close down its meetings. Eleni Dow has found the helpers tonight, people with the Recovery Cafe who are helping those trying to help themselves. Even if the Recovery Cafe building is closed off for meetings, they still found a way. They're using an application called Zoom to have face-to-face -face meetings. For an hour a week, these seats are usually filled with people working on themselves, recovering from alcohol or drug addiction. It's a place Angelique Ewing depends on for her recovery from opioid and methamphetamine addiction. This is, to me, an essential place. This is an essential service. It helps keep my recovery and my emotional and mental well-being in place. She was happy they answered the phone today. Hello. Staff at the Recovery Cafe gave their members and others in the community sack lunches. Hot water for the cup of soup. Thank you. A service that's normally offered during their in-person meetings. We're really just trying to hear what the community needs right now. That need is food, support, and meetings. We're also calling people every day. Like there's, you know, there's some people that might need a little added extra support. So we're making sure that we're contacting them every day. Um, we're just trying to be there as much as possible for people to support their recovery. Since they had to suspend face-to-face -face meetings, McMacken says they've had two people relapse. So everything's just kind of changing and trying to adapt to that almost immediately is hard. Adapting is what Ewing has had to do now that her kids are learning from home. Scheduled drives. We're going for drives, you know, along the river. Um, recess time where we just go out and do something. Like coming here and getting some food. I have a cowboy hat for you. And a good conversation that will soon be done online. We don't have to isolate just because we have to social distance. We get the opportunity to stay connected. For those who do need help and don't have internet service, the Recovery Cafe will also make phone calls as well. In Spokane, I'm Eleni Dow for News Now.